What's in this episode? I want to talk about PS4 having more games in 2015 than Xbox. Pretty much what this article is about. And I want to talk about this because, you know, even though this is a PlayStation channel, you don't want to count Microsoft out. I feel like Microsoft will spend money if they have to. They have to get games out. I honestly feel like Microsoft will have games. Microsoft is playing that game where, you know, they have the games, but they won't tell us yet. They want to surprise us when the games are coming out. So, um, so this article is pretty much talking about, you know, Sony has tons of games coming out in 2015, including indies and major AAA titles like The Order 1886, Bloodborne, Uncharted 4, Thief Ends, and, you know, and plenty other games that they announced. And Microsoft pretty much only announced that they're going to have Halo 5, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Fable Legends. And, you know, honestly, I feel like Halo will sell consoles. Halo 5 will sell consoles. Uh, regardless of what you say, uh, Master Chief Collection sold consoles. Halo 5 will sell consoles. Um, hopefully, I have my, hopefully, I have my Xbox around Tomb Raider because it's kind of the only game I actually can look at right now that I actually want that in Quantum Break. So, Microsoft does have Quantum Break also. And the reason why I'm saying, like, even though Microsoft only announced those few games, you don't know what they're hiding. Once E3 hits, Microsoft can have a whole plan set where they're gonna be you know what? And they have a whole plan set where they're gonna be like, you know what? Let's destroy PlayStation. Let's come on, let's go all out. Let's show the games we're gonna have. Let's show the games are gonna come out this year. You know, they could come out with 25 games in one year. I mean, that's a lot of games, but you never know. They could honestly just go in on PlayStation. So PlayStation should not let their guard down. I say, you know, play it smart, you know, play it smart, show your games, and try to beat Xbox. If we can stick together and if we can come up with something that can beat Xbox, which Uncharted 4, we already got that. But if they come up with something, I mean, there's a lot of games that Microsoft could do. Um, I think they own Ram. They come up with Conquer Bad Friday and games like that. So Microsoft could be holding out on that. If you guys are not Xbox fans, you probably don't even know about this. Um, Project Spark. I feel like Project Spark will be a big deal in 2015 because it just looks so cool. And I definitely want to learn it on PC. I'm not going to probably mess with it on Xbox One. Um, but I am going to try to learn it. That's kind of my goal to learn or master um, Project Spark to make video games and stuff. Like many games that you guys will probably like. like and I'll probably ask you guys some, you know, some advice on what you guys want to see in like a mini game or something. I'm not going to try to make no big game um, just because I want to focus on my channel. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know who you think will win 2015, PS4 or Xbox One. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Make sure you guys add me on places you guys want to play with me. And follow me on Twitter so you guys can tweet me articles and stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.